Hi. I am sitting down and I'm talking about something that um, you guys have been asking me for longer than I can remember. My stupid ass is just <laughs> finally getting around to doing it. S sorry? My nails. Wow. I get so many questions about these bad boys, okay? And I, I've ne I did not expect it to be honest, first of all. And to be honest with you, I never really knew how to answer them purely because the questions were things like, where do you get them done? Who does them? Can you please tag where you get them done? What color do you ask for? What shape do you ask for? Like the list, the list goes on, okay? But guys, 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 I do my nails myself. Um, I know. <laughs> my life is so all over the place and hectic 24 seven. I just find it like a lot easier if I'm honest with you, but they're decent man. Um, and I've been doing my nails for probably like a year now because I find it so much easier. Way cheaper, way cheaper. Okay, save them coins. Secondly, I found myself going to the nail shop way too often because my nails grow out in like a week to two weeks, which is just a pain in the ass and just not a vibe. And thirdly, I just wanted to. Okay. I found my nails were so much healthier as well because where I kept getting acrylics, my nails were literally like tissue paper. It was disgusting, like disgusting. Literally like flip. I will vom. Realistically, the only way that I could put all the dates is if I do a video like this where we sit down um, and not only do I tell you where I get everything from, but also how I do my nude gem nails. They're actually not as hard as you think. It's a little time consuming, but it's kind of therapeutic at the same time um, and they turn out wicked after, so it's totally worth it. You want to save your coins um, and still have bomb ass nails, then hopefully this video will be helpful because I think, I think they're okay. I mean, they're not the best. Don't look close. <laughs> it's just so much more convenient for me. So let's just get into it. Little nail situation. Let's go. Hello, hello. My nails are so, they look so ugly and stumpy. <laughs> By the way, guys, I am here. Hello. <laughs> We're gonna talk through as we are doing this, okay? So here are my gross nails, okay? I feel kind of naked right now. Don't look. <laughs> Last night I took off the nails that I had them before. So this is what we're left with. Before I start, I'm just gonna go through what you're gonna need. So for nail prep, you are gonna need a nail file and also some clippers as well. Mine, don't ask me why these are literally the size of like a peanut. I. We don't know. Also a cuticle pusher if you need one. The actual nails that we use, you know, to get the length to make them look fabulous. I'll get into them in a minute. Of course, we need nail paint, a base coat and top coat, and of course colors. Um, and then I use gems and stuff. So whatever kind of gems you can get hold of, whatever kind of designs you want, it's totally up to you. Do your thing, you know, get creative. And then an applicator for them. These are literally just some eyelash tweeds as well. <laughs> I'm ratchet, okay? Nail glue as well. We got to keep these bad boys on. Okay, shall we begin, pals? Let's do it. Let's make these pretty again. My little chicken claws need to be pretty. The first thing that I like to do is just trim my trim my nails. Is that the right word? Get them short. Personally, I like my real nails short. I do this every time because my nails grow so quick. Okay, be short and trimmed and just clean looking. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trim them all down um, and get them as short as pretty much I possibly can. Okay, I'ma just clean up these, kind of gross. Soz pals. Aren't they just looking so much better already? I mean, don't get me wrong, I still feel freaking naked, but hey, they're looking better. <laughs> I'm literally just told you chicken claws. Like, next, a nail file. I pretty much just wanna use this to get rid of any dodgy edges from the nail clipping. When you do this, try to go in one direction so you don't split the nail, it's less damaging. That's, uh, that's what I've heard anyway, and it's what I like to do. This is the point now where if you have a cuticle push up, push down your cuticles. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys, okay? Be real H. I don't do this step. My cuticles are actually fine though, to be honest. If they got really bad, then your girl would have to do it. But guys, hello. Doing my cuticles literally makes me want to bomb, okay? It does, it does. I don't know what the frick it is, but it just literally makes me want to puke everywhere. Like Vom comes up my esophagus and I just can't do it. <laughs> we're skipping hair, okay? We're just, we're just pretend that we've done that. The last thing I like to do is take the softer side of my nail file. So you know a lot of the times you have a smoother side and then a harsher side. Using the softer side in one direction, I kind of rough the surface of my nails. That way it gives the nail when you put the glue on something to stick to. We don't really want a smooth, oily surface. We want something kind of dry and has a bit of sort of texture to it. Okay, sweet, time to do the nails. They come in these bags with numbers on, the numbers represent the size, the lower the number, the bigger the size. We line them up so you can see them all together. So, 
here they all are. Size wise, for example, zero would be a thumb size and nine would be a pinky. Just so you guys know, I get all of my nails from Amazon. If I open one up so you can literally um, see what they look like, but why I love these ones, number one, they're pretty long. And you guys know, okay, I like my nails a lot. And they're actually already coffin shape. So I literally have to do minimal shiz to it. We stick her on and we go. And guys, they're a really good price as well, which just makes it even better. What I like to start by doing is selecting out my sizes. I do this by trial and error, to be honest, just pick out a number, try it on my finger. You wanna make sure that the fake nail does cover your real nail though, make sure it's not too small. Too small, it could pop off, which is not what we want. Just kind of measure it up um, and then put it in order so you know what to stick where. Okay, sweet. We have all of our sizes chosen, which means we can Take these away. So pinky this side, thumbnail this side. You guys, you get the gist, right? You get the gist. We're gonna stick them on, right? This is the nail glue that I like to use, again, from Amazon. Amazon is an absolute gem, okay? This is called Nail Bond. Basically, this is a super, super strong nail glue. It's water resistant, quick dry as well, a quick fix. It's used for not only nails like this, but also nail art as well. Hello. Hmm. I'm just popping in too. Just say, don't, don't use this nail glue. <laughs> it, it's shite basically. I came to realize within 24 hours of using this nail glue, exactly why I don't pick up and use this nail glue. Don't even bother guys. Honestly, within like 24 hours, I had like five, six nails pop off, which never, never happens to me, like ever. I mean, I can last a week and a half to two weeks without even one nail popping off normally. So just don't even bother. Keeping it real, like the Primark nail glue, which is £1.50, the brush on one, literally is 10 times better. Elegant Touch, which is a brand you can get in Super Drug Booze, is probably my favorite one though. So yeah, guys, Elegant Touch or Primark, don't even bother with that one. Shocking. Anyway, back to the bin. And what I love about it as well is it's a brush applicator. I find these to be the easiest. I'm gonna start with my left hand, okay? So all I do, brush on a little bit of glue, just enough to cover the surface of the nail. I'm gonna let that dry for a few seconds. Give a little whiff. <laughs> Take your nail and just push her on. Then what I like to do is hold it for about 10 seconds, just so we know she's bonded, you know? She is on there, she is not going anywhere. And I like to roll my finger like this so I make sure I get all the sides as well. We don't want any gaps. <laughs> no room for her coming off, people. And then, just like that, we have, we have our first little nail. Now that you've seen this little guy, I'm gonna speed through the rest. So same thing, guys, brush. Brush on a little bit of glue, leave it for like three, four seconds, grab the nail and put it on and hold for about 10, just to make sure it's bonded. One little thing I do want to mention as well, guys, is try and get the bottom of the nail as close to your cuticle as possible. I kind of like, not push it under, but just make sure it's sort of next to it. That way it looks like it is kind of growing out of us and it doesn't look like a false nail. And there we go, guys. We have on, oh God, I feel so much better already. <laughs> cool. Look at that difference already from this hand to this hand. How crazy is that? One pretty hand, one to go. And there we have it, guys. The nails are on. This is the length of how they already come. Now you guys know me, I love my long nails. I'm not gonna change the length, okay? Don't drag me, don't come for me. People who don't really like long nails. Girl, listen, I can wipe my ass still. I can, I can do everything still, okay? We're fine. We're fine. Thank you for your concern, but we're gooch. Obviously, feel free though to trim them down. The only thing that I like to do is take my nail file because just at the tips of the nails, it's just a tiny little edge. Like it's not completely straight. Can you see that? Nail file. I just do this. So quick. And easy to do. Now it is time to paint these bad boys. So one thing I like to do is switch up my nail color. It's like an easy way to just like transform your look. Nude nails though are just the one, aren't they? They're just standard, they're popular. They go with every outfit. They're just convenient, right? So these are the two kind of colors that I like to use. These are from Makeup Revolution actually. These are really nice because they have avocado oil in. So they're actually really moisturizing for your nails at the same time, which is cool. Out of the two, the dark one, which is this one here, this is the browner nude. This is called Real. And then this one, which is a baby pink nude nude. This is called Silk. Out of the two, I'm going to actually use the lighter one today. Fun fact, I hate this part of doing my nails. I'm pretty poor at it, if I'm honest. I don't like painting my nails, but someone's got to do it, and that someone has got to be me. now done one hand. I've now got to try and do my right hand. Wish me luck.
folks wish me luck anyone else's hands so shaky like i'm like <laughs> don't worry about it too much though guys because we can clean up at a later stage this is one coat you can see it's not completely opaque though so i'm gonna go in with one more coat just to make sure that it's a solid color oh that is so much better can you tell can you see the difference between my pinky and the others oh okay nail painting is complete i'm gonna be careful because they're still like drying oh my god that's not i'm an idiot i'm an idiot i'm an idiot i'm an idiot I am an idiot. Gems, which are gonna make our prails, our prails? Our prails. Our nails look all pretty. The nail gems I like to use are these. These are from Primark. These are so cool guys. So you get two wheels of nail art gems and they're two pounds. It's a pound a wheel, which is so good. Amazon do loads of different ones as well and you can buy them in bulk as well. So you can get like a million gems. I really love these ones though. Like these ones are holographic and they're just different sized dots these ones are the ones i normally use but i also found these these ones are kind of multicolored, so they're different shapes we have little like diamonds teardrops love hearts that kind of thing so i might do a mixture of the both today nail glue she needs to come back she needs to make another little appearance and a little tool you can use tweezers these are just um eyelash applicators just something to kind of like pluck them out i need to open these up me trying to do anything with wet nails. You look at these. The middle parts of the wheels, I actually like to use these as nail glue little holders. That way it's always there for me to sort of dip in. Design wise, obviously this is completely up to you now. The design I just did on my nails that you guys were asking for, I'm gonna kind of stick to that. What did I do? I'm actually gonna start with the middle finger because I'm gonna use all gems from this wheel here, which is the one with all the different like circles. I'm gonna start with the big gems in here. Dip my applicator in a little bit of the glue so that I can pick one of the gems out. Hopefully you can see there's a little gem on the end of that now. Pop the gem in the glue and then you wanna try and like get it out like that, like it's hanging on this now. The middle now, I want to be really random. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just pop that on there. Same thing, grab one out, dip it in the glue. Eh, get here you little sucker. <laughs> I'm gonna put this one diagonal from it. And then we're gonna put another one in this corner here. They are a little tedious. Once you have them on, they'll they'll look cool. I'm gonna go down to the medium sized ones now. There we go. And maybe put them next to the big ones. Oh God, no, I only want one. Get back in there. Hello, right there. So you can see I'm kind of just putting them next to the big ones. Like I said, go crazy guys. Design whatever the hell you want don't be afraid to kind of just do whatever pattern you want i'm just gonna stick these on kind of like randomly now not really thinking about it i look for gaps and just places that i can sort of build up the gems so that's what we have so far i'm gonna add the smallest gems onto this now i still want there to be pink gaps between the nails but i'm just gonna kind of fill in the gaps switch the wheel to the small gems where are ya Ooh, these ones are tiny can you see how small they are on there? Okay, this I'm pretty happy with. I obviously can't show you guys where I put every single gem. I'll tell you roughly what I'm doing, but easier for you to go from a picture than me telling you, to be honest. This now I'm gonna do next. So I wanna create kind of like all gems at the bottom here and then a little line going up. I think. I think I want this teardrop gem in here. I want a main gem and then something where you can build around it. Grab this little teardrop gem. Oh, I want this to go in the middle of the nail at the bottom here. Back to the gems that we used before. I'm just gonna take loads of the little ones and start building up around it. I'm gonna take some medium sized ones now and pop them in these corners. The thing is guys, you can literally do anything and think like, oh yeah, that looks nice. Like that'll do. Let's put a medium sized one there. There is baby teardrops in this one. So glue, da -da -da, baby teardrop up here. Oh, oh, sometimes it does this. She needs to like fiddle around with it. You for the ring finger, we're gonna make a pile of gems at the bottom and then kind of going up in a zigzag motion, kind of fade the diamonds out. You'll see what I'm saying. Using all of the circle ones, we're gonna start with a couple big ones. The medium ones are gonna be all around it. 
instead of attaching get airy little sucker instead of putting this diamond in with the rest i'm gonna kind of put it a bit higher so it's like by itself still close to them but it's not touching them Pop that one there as i'm going up though like up the nail here try and space them further and further apart so it looks like they're sort of fading out for the rest i'm gonna make them small ones okay cool this is what we have for these three nails da -da 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 pinky now to tie it all together i'm gonna kind of do a similar design to this one so we're kind of covering the bottom half of the nail i'm gonna do the same thing start with a big teardrop the medium sized gems i'm just gonna put next to it maybe one either side at the bottom then should we put one above like that Oh girl and then these little gaps here i'm gonna put the smaller gems kind of just what i do just put smaller gems bigger gems that way it looks really detailed but relatively easy to do then do you know what i might do for the shits and gigs i might take a baby teardrop which is in here let's just put her floating here like that why the hell not Ta -da! okay guys we're finally onto the thumb the thumb design now because we have you know two nails kind of covering the whole nail two at the bottom of the nail for the thumb i like to do a design in the middle i kind of like it to look like a crown so i do sort of like an arch motion i have a cute little love heart one here where does she go make her the sort of center piece of the crown oh my god that's so cute i can't <laughs> I'm gonna pop some gems next to it like i said i'm gonna kind of arch them Can you guys see that? It has not a straight line. It's just kind of like and now to start building it up to like a, a point. That's what crowns look like, right? Listen, I am not the expert. I want to finish it off with something. But you know what? What about a diamond? Should we shine bright like a diamond? Wow. Did you hit? <laughs> <sighs> just call me Rihanna. Does that look shh? Oh, mm. I don't know how I feel about that, but here we are. Whoa, 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 wait, if I had a few little small ones just here. Oh yeah, okay, that's so much better. And it actually looks like a triangle. Oh, guys, we're done. Look, every single finger has some gems on. How freaking cute. It only took me uh, a year, but it's fine. I'm also covered in glue and gems the lot, but um, just the price you gotta pay. The last thing to do is seal all of our hard work in place. The first thing I like to do is actually take a little bit of glue and just go over the top of the gems like this. This is gonna make like a glue layer over the gems so that they don't move even more. Then the last thing is a top coat. Any top coat, this one's by CND Nails, but any sort of clear top coat the gel like ones i find are the best because they're a little bit thicker not only is this going to make your nail nice and shiny but it's also going to add another protective layer for your gems so they don't fall off by the way i'm doing these short weird motions over the gems so i can get the clear polish all the way around it beautiful look at that here's my nails before after before after they're super cute guys um and they're actually pretty easy to do they do take me like maybe two hours i'd say to do both hands that is which in the grand scheme of things isn't too bad considering i find quite therapeutic in like a weird way i like stick on some tunes and i just get to it you know okay it's sweet so now to replicate these gems on this hand i'm gonna run off camera to do this and then we'll be back to see them all done guys these are the finished product okay i will of course put in a clip of them all properly so hello Thank you. So you can see them all close up, but this is the finished product. I love them. I think they are like, they look pretty wicked, to be honest. Considering I've done these at home by myself, that's pretty decent. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully it was easy to go through. I couldn't zoom in any more because I don't actually have a zoom lens, but. So yeah, I do my nails, guys. Hopefully that's answered all your questions. I would of course leave all the links to like the nail polishes, the nails, the glue, everything in the description box. Definitely check that out because you'll find it all there. Anything else I want to say? I don't think so. Thank you guys for watching, okay? Stay cool, and I'll see you all very soon with a brand new video. Mwah.